Hello, Pisces. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Pisces. Um, something significant about your birthday. Something about birthdays. I don't know. I'm getting birthdays, night crawler, and the streets. <laughs> maybe there was somebody you had a lot of fun on your birthdays with. I don't know. Maybe you spent a few birthdays with this person. There could be something significant about your birthday. You could be dealing with somebody whose birthday is around this time. What is this? Gemini season? What in the world? Last reading of the night, Pisces. Hearts is flying. Let's see what fell, actually. I feel like I need to look at this. Um. Oh. Oh. There could have been a relationship that ended due to either a lack of expression or cheating. Some kind of deception. And not saying how you feel, but keeping a person tied in a situation is also a deception, honey. <laughs> it could be just deceiving yourself. We miss out on a lot of good things because we don't just say how we feel. I was watching this video about MJ Harris, and he was like, women don't know how to go for what they want no more. I'm not saying that you have to pursue the man or anything. Like, people don't know how to go for what they want anymore because it's like everybody's, like, too cool for school. Honey, if I like you, I like you. Now, whatever you do with that information is on you, but it ain't on me no more because I said it. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with expressing how you feel about a person. It doesn't mean that you're chasing them or you're going to text them all fucking day. It just means, yeah, I like you. I actually think you're very attractive. You know, something like that. I don't know why that may be significant for someone. But, like, speak up. You know, a person can't know how you feel if you don't say anything. But it could have been cheating that ended the relationship, honestly. Or it could have been, you know, just an ex a lack of expression. There's definitely feelings here. Some of you might be dealing with Aquarius. Somebody may... I don't know. What is the Seven of Swords? Yeah, somebody didn't say... That's why I was saying that. Some, somebody got big love, honey. Big love. I heard big shoes to fill. That's probably why they're, they're scared to say it. Because they know they got some big shoes to fill. I don't think you... Because you ain't no small fish, are you, Pisces? No, you're not. But you're their decision. I feel like this person has gone back and forth with maybe, probably... Oh, not yet. I don't know. Maybe. I kind of want to go over there. No, 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 no. And you're like... No. Like, you came in with the big Empress energy saying, I'll make the decision for you. Let me make this easy for you, okay? I don't know. Some of you went to... Some of you got a reading. <laughs> some of you got a reading on this because you weren't feeling so motivated. You weren't feeling like... Some of you, either you got a reading or you talked to a counselor. It's somebody you talked to about this because you just was feeling like... Mm. I don't know. Some of y'all doing with Aquarius. Their reading was hilarious. Something got you not feeling so good about this no more, though. About going back to this. It's like, I've already started to feel better. I've already started to kind of move on with my life. I got other stuff going on. I've, I've gotten over the worst of it already. And now, this person's like, but I love you. I'm not over you. It's not over. Ooh. Temperance in reverse, justice in reverse. I was in denial. I was wasting time. I'm done with that. I'm ready for this. You're the one that I choose. Are you doing Aquarius? I'm done. I'm ready to take it's like somebody's like, I'm done. I'm ready to open up to you. Let's make peace. You know, can we just not talk about the past? No, you're gonna have to talk about the past. I ain't saying heart and dope on the past but we're gonna have to discuss this okay because you tried it <laughs> that's what somebody's saying 
I mean, to say the love was unrequited the first time around is an understatement. You gonna have to change. This is Aquarius. This is Jerome in the house. <laughs> somebody used to put, somebody was a whole magician. I mean, smoke shows, somebody probably smoked trees too. It was a, it was a clusterfuck of, of fuckery. Excuse me, YouTube. Somebody had, somebody was very good at making multiple things happen at once. Okay. But they weren't good enough to get over on you, Pisces. Okay. Somebody said, either you're going to give to this or you can get the hell out. You can, you can keep doing whatever you're doing. You know what I mean? All right. So you said, I'm not invested in this person no more. You put too many question marks in my brain. I can't do it. You knew there was another woman. No, 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 no. Wait. You know <laughs> You had a feeling they were going to do this Because they didn't want things to be Okay, alright, 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 alright You knew they were going to do this I'm going to tell you what they're going to do You knew this person was going to drop all these others you knew you had worked your magic already, Pisces. Whether you intended to do that or not. <laughs> you know the effect that you have on people. Hmm? Make a blind man see, make a player want to change his ways. The color yellow could be significant for a lot of you. Some of y'all like to drink juice out of a box. Childish. I'm just playing. <laughs> Them juices be good, though. I gotta find my charger, y'all. Hold on. Wait. I can't find my um, computer charger. Pisces, you done made a player fall in love. Congratulations. It's not many who can do that. And isn't it when once you finally get them, you don't want them off? <laughs> Some of y'all may have that thought like I don't even want it now. <laughs> Somebody said something like it's, I don't know if it's a used car that I'm hearing, but like something's it's like it's used. It's all used up. What I want it for now. I don't know. Y'all still like them though, because they in the reading. But you knew that this person was going to do this. You had a feeling about it. They're still not quite ready to take the leap. They still got some things they're trying to get off of their mind, but they're clearing out some things. They're fixing some things about themselves, okay? They're... <sighs> they done broke up with... They're clearing the roster for you, okay? They're making a judgment on who they used to be or who they've always been. They've meditated on it. They're ready to offer you something solid, Pisces, period. But they had to get single. They had to get themselves untangled first. Even though they didn't know what your answer was going to be, this person is preparing themselves for you because they can't stop thinking about you, Pisces. They can't stop thinking about you. Some of you may like Cosmopolitan. It's not a magazine. I know it's a drink, but it's also a magazine or something like that. Many of you may, I don't know. Many of you may live in a city. Something about New York could be significant. Uh, yeah, that was like a sex in the city. Didn't, um, what's her name? Uh, the Aries. <gasps> You're dealing with the Aries. Something about Aries, something about New York, something about sex, something about a cosmopolitan could be significant in this reading. Ten of Pentacles, as soon as I cut the deck, you and somebody got unfinished business, okay? Unfinished business is the name of the game. 
But how do you feel, Pisces? We know how they feel. How do you feel? What do you want? You want them to make this shit right with you. How do you feel about them, Pisces? Somebody's in their prime. You feel like they're non-committal. How do they feel about you? They do not want things to be over. They're very sad without you. How do you feel about the relationship? <laughs> You're still waiting on them. I feel like y'all are at a distance right now. Maybe you feel like... You kind of want to give up. And this could, is this past energy? Ooh, you've experienced the worst of this person, okay? The worst. You've already seen all the bad stuff. You know, sometimes you end up married to a person for 10 years before you see all the bad stuff. At least you got to see this up front. Because the way they feel about you, they realize that you, oh my God. Oh, you're making them want to be a better man. They want to be your man. They think a lot about this ending. They were very disappointed by this. I feel like they walked away from their wife. They don't want you to move on. What's the mutual energy? Not feeling good enough because they made you feel some kind of way. And now you got them feeling some kind of way. But this person knows who they were to you. It's like they owe you an apology. It's like they, 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 they feel like they owe it to you. It's like... They went against their better judgment. They, they did not go against their, their good judgment when it came to this. I feel like they started looking at someone else from their past. Because, you know, I just said this in Aquarius' reading. It's like once you know, you can't go back. Once you've been exposed to something new, when you try to go back and, and, and deal with that old thing, it don't hit the same. Welcome to the real world. Welcome to the world of Pisces. <laughs> Welcome to we fuck your head up over here. <laughs> you ain't never gonna want these hoes again. <laughs> but I feel like you set someone free. <laughs> you know what I mean? From their ways that are pretty counterproductive. You, you, it's like you had this pendulum. I don't know, you have hypnotized this person. They have changed. They're they're like in the process of changing. But the thing about it is they're going to have to do it for themselves. For it to stick. They got to want it. You got to want it. Honey. You can't do it for me because the moment I piss you off, you're going to backslide. <laughs> you know what I mean? Y'all have done drugs together. Let me just say that. Y'all done popped a few beans and rolled a few blunts. <laughs> okay. I want to hang out with y'all. <laughs> I'm just serious. <laughs> All right, Pisces. What's the, what, what? If you two come back together, what's the outcome? Did they really change? I did this in Aquarius' this reading, too. Ooh. The thing about it is. If I give to this, same in Aquarius is reading. If I give to this, you will have a change. If I come back and give this another chance, it's got to be equal. Okay? You got to let go of that shit from your past. Okay? But, you know, the thing about it is, who wants to babysit? Who wants to be monitoring just to see, like, have you changed? <laughs> And that's not the way you should approach it anyway if you were to go back into it, Pisces, but can't say it wouldn't be in the back of your mind. You know what I mean? You are human. And this person has hurt you before. You would have to resolve your resentment towards this person. Because I feel like deep down, you want to work with them. But you, you don't want to waste them. I mean, not even one second of your time. But <laughs> I, I get it. You may end up turning this person down, deciding not to commit, though. 
Because you were very unhappy in this relationship. There was something very unhealthy about this relationship, and it was him. <laughs> I wanted this to be good, because I feel like this person really loves you. But at the same time, you know, and I feel like that's how y'all felt, too. It's like, oh, my God, this is so bad for me. <laughs> Why do I love him so much? But I love him. Something like that. What's the advice? What's the advice? Maybe that's the question I should ask because the, the last one was pretty convoluted. <laughs> What's the advice for Pisces? Pay attention to all of the little nuances. Some of you are um, musicians or you just could be music lovers. You know how you listen to a song and sometimes you hear something different about the song every time. It's something about double checking, triple checking, something like that. Pay attention to the things that aren't being said, which is something that you are good at. <laughs> this could have been something that kept you in a lack mind state or like there was communication problems. There was constantly an apology. Pisces, look at me, give me attention, help. A lot of emotional codependency. Do you want to be in a connection where you have to raise your man? Pisces, if you return, you will end up dropping this person anyway. Oh, you're scared. You're scared and you want to remain in control and you might end it because of that. I'll offer to be friends. I see you holding back from this person. You want them. I don't know. There's a big part of you that's just too scared to do it. But Pisces, are you walking away from what you manifested? <laughs> You're deeming it as something that's unrequited. If you went back, you would still have a hard time trusting this person. You would be afraid to put your heart in it. You would always be wondering if they... They're coming back to offer you something. But I just don't think you're going to take action on it. In person in reverse. I don't even know if that was advice, but... You are afraid... What's the truth? Oh my God, I know what I just did. I know what I just did, shit. I'm gonna try to get Aquarius out tonight. The thing about it is you were looking for love this person was looking for a chase. And now you've raised your standards. Now you feel a little bit more. Oh. Is it familiarity or is it happiness? Do you really feel like this person means you good or are they just I don't know are they just transferring their energy onto you they could be a Gemini the Gemini could have been the other person this person overwhelms you Pisces they felt pressured because they knew they was gonna have to break this Gemini's heart could be I don't know it ain't that complex Pisces you're not you're not crazy you may just feel like you need to put your foot down with this person. You know, this is the kind of person that didn't tell you how they felt about you in order to keep, because that's how they get, that's how they got the other ones. And when you're automatically looking to manipulate a person's emotions in order to get them to fiend for you, Jerome in the house. 
Like, do I look like one of these hoes to you? Do I look like you can put my mind on a string and, and get me to do dance around and do whatever it is that you want to do? I know you have strong feelings for this person. Some of you have cancer in your chart or something like that. This person is rebounding. <laughs> okay. You could have, it could have started off where you were the rebound. I feel like that's what happened. And then they messed around and fell in love with the rebound. Something's off with this person. There may be something they haven't forgiven you for. Could be a Leo or a Cancer. This person ain't gonna change until they change. And the only way you can change your life is through changing your mind. The only way to change your mind is through repetition. And you cannot put a quarter in this person's back and make them all of a sudden have the discipline to do that. And I think that's where you're at with it. Like, well, I can't make you be a better person, so. I mean, am I really finna sign up for be a better person boot camp with your ass? I don't know. Like, this is this was a lesson in boundaries. November Sagittarius. Some, some of you may have a Sagittarius in your life that needs to grow up. Then they're they there there's something about stability with the Sag. Like maybe the bond between the two of you is more stability based. Did this person just fit the bill or do they do they actually you know is do they actually complement your life? There were times where you felt excluded from this person's plans, okay? It was a failure to launch between the two of you over and over and over again. Stop justifying that. Stop justifying that. Maybe it's time to call this person out who is always keeping their options open. It could be an Aries in the picture. But then they just they just couldn't give they just couldn't let you go though. It's something about you. You charge this person. The number seven could be significant. What you fear is usually close to you. Don't set the pace. If you do continue to talk to this person. Let them lead. And if they ain't leading where you want to go, don't go. I feel like a lot of you have areas in your chart or you may be very talented. There's something about you being very talented. November. Mark my words. Something November. Let's see what's about November and then I got to go. Why does November keep popping out here? <laughs> this person gonna be coming back to you in November but they haven't changed is that what I'm really seeing they haven't changed it's something it's y'all doing with Leo I mean big time Leo energy here and you you're gonna move on I think by November you you, you have a pretty good idea that nope, I ain't wasting no more time here. Pisces, oh, I really wanted Jerome to get his shit together, but you know the thing about it is Pisces, Jerome got a lot of karma to live out, to play out. You know what I mean? You ain't the first person who feelings he hurt. <laughs> we got wedding very soon. Trust. Chemistry. You don't feel safe. You don't feel safe. Or somebody didn't tell you how they feel, which kind of killed the getting to know you part. It's a very stubborn person. A lot of control issues. And it's like, you cannot manipulate love with a water sign. Not to say that other signs are not cannot be emotionally intelligent, but a Pisces, you can't fake like you love me. We can have chemistry and Pisces love to have sex. Okay. <laughs> so you can get us there. Okay. But 
You can't fake the love thing. It's something about it that's unrequited. And you need to free yourself from it. Because it's not your true love. I feel like there was a lot of... The trust issues killed the passion. And the fact that you kept dealing with them has something to say with how much you love you. Because it's blocking the new love, which could be the true love, okay? You're not a true, you're not able to attract this new love. Who could because you feel like this is the one, but this is not the one you need to be investing in. The time has come for you to retreat. Okay. If you if this person didn't make an effort with you, why would you you need to express your love elsewhere? Your soulmate will not be codependent on you. Your soulmate will not be dependent. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like saying that so hard, but it's like it's something about this person that was they were just on you, okay? And that I don't think you really like that. If you reconcile with this person, I don't think it would be fun. Keep an open mind. You deserve real love, Pisces. You deserve a love that's gonna feel real <laughs> you know what i mean don't be afraid to decline this person i don't think you're afraid you're a warrior pisces so number 22 could be significant seek far seek a far away road by storm clouds unshaded and so escape danger by the route indicated baby that's not your man that's not your girl Okay, Jerome and Jeromet ain't the one. Seek a far away road by storm clouds unshaded and so escape the danger by the route indicated. Whatever road somebody trying to get you to go down, double confirmation, you need to stay in control. You need to stay in control. Make peace with the past, baby. I don't think y'all gonna be moving forward together. It's too much. This person got a lot of work to do. This person has a lot of work to do, and I feel like they're afraid to do it. I'm just telling you that, Pisces. But I'm gonna leave it there. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.